Welcome to this presentation on Magnetic Resonance Imaging, brought to you by the Philips Learning Center. The 12-part series for this MR registry review can be found at the onlinelearningcenter.com under the Magnetic Resonance Imaging section of the course catalog. These audiovisual or webcast presentations provided by Philips Healthcare are designed to prepare the healthcare professional for the MR registry exam or for those wanting to review the basics. The presentations are given by Bill Faulkner and Candy Roth from Imaging Education Associates. This MR registry review consists of 12 modules ranging in length from 60 to 90 minutes. The first part of the series provides an overview of the principles for magnetism, the different types of magnetic fields, the effects of various magnetic fields, and the usage of RF coils in clinical MR. The second part, titled MRO2 MR Safety, provides an overview of magnetic resonance imaging safety, including a review of magnetism safety, RF safety, safety for time-varying magnetic fields, patient screening, and patient care in the MR environment. The third part of this MR registry review provides an overview of the basic principles of MRI, including the effects of nuclei in a magnetic field, the mechanisms for acquisition of MR signal, and the acquisition of MR signal. The aim of Part 4 is to educate the participant on the basic MR pulse sequences. This course will evaluate the effects imaging parameters have on MR signal and contrast and review timing diagrams used in MR. The aim of Part 5 is to educate the participant on MR image formation. This course will review the concept of phase, frequency and amplitude, the principles for image formation in MRI, slice selection, phase encoding and frequency encoding, and the role of K-space in MR image formation. Part 6, Parameters, Options, and Artifacts for MRI, explains the principles of signal-to-noise ratio in MRI and how image quality is affected by signal-to-noise. This module goes on to describe the acquisition of MR signal and the various artifacts in MRI. By the conclusion of Part 7, titled Advanced Imaging Techniques for MRI, the participant will understand MR angiography techniques including black blood, time of flight, phase contrast, and contrast-enhanced MRA. The eighth module of the MR Registry series on MR contrast agents describes the usages of contrast agents, how to calculate the standard dose, discusses the clinical indications, and concludes with the various contrast agents available and those under investigation for use in MRI. The ninth module reviews the day-to-day -day practice of MR imaging of the upper and lower extremities, including safety and screening, patient preparation, anatomy and optimization of imaging protocols. The aim of this course is to educate the participant on MR of the central nervous system. The module will review the day-to-day -day practice of MR imaging of the brain and define proper imaging protocols for brain imaging including the MR appearance and characteristics of various brain lesions. The participant will learn how MRI can be used to access blood flow in vessels of the head and neck, and how to apply the various vascular techniques to acquire MRA studies of the brain blood flow, perfusion, and diffusion. MR body will educate the participant on MR protocols for the abdomen and pelvis, including the MR appearance and characteristics of various abdominal and pelvis lesions. The twelfth and final module is titled MR of the Thorax and will include the chest, heart, and spine. The full MR registry series can be found on the Phillips Learning Center under the course category 
Magnetic Resonance Imaging.